The Home Office is ramping up enforcement activity against those living and working illegally across the UK. All right, you speak a little bit of English. Okay. We're going to take you into this room and just speak to you in here, yeah? This raid on an East London construction company, one of hundreds of similar operations over the past year, which saw immigration enforcement officers increase their activity by almost 70%. Now from today, the fines facing businesses and landlords who employ or accommodate illegal workers are being increased substantially. A GB News investigation into illegal employment found a number of asylum seekers working in breach of employment rules at this car wash in Aldershot. Fatos, so you're the manager? Yes. Yeah. Did you know that this man was an asylum seeker? No, I didn't know. Under the new rules, businesses caught employing migrants illegally will see potential maximum fines rise from £15,000 to £45,000. I support the government's policy. Uh, it, it's the right one, morally speaking. Rogue employers, rogue landlords shouldn't be allowed to accommodate illegal immigrants. Um, but will this make a difference to the pull factor, to the number of illegal migrants who want to cross the channel or arrive here through the back of a lorry? It probably won't have that much of an effect for a couple of reasons. Firstly, uh, this needs to be zealously enforced uh, and many illegal immigrants operate in a clandestine fashion. They're off the grid, so to speak. And secondly, if you arrive here illegally, it's very difficult to do, for the government to deport you to a country that's deemed unsafe. Immigration, can you come to the door, please? Rogue landlords accommodating illegal migrants without proper background checks also face a significant hike in fines, from £1,000 for each tenant to £10,000. Ministers believe the crackdown on illegal working will help lessen the pull factors which are being exploited by people smugglers to entice migrants to cross to the UK illegally. Many find their way into low-skilled work in the likes of the gig economy. In Brighton, GB News was shown evidence of the huge surge in illegal immigrants working in the food delivery sector, taking advantage of a loophole in contracts which enable drivers to lease out their deliveries to third parties. There are no official figures for the number of migrants working in the illegal economy, but some estimates suggest that number may be higher than one and a half million. Mark White, GB News.